It's a good idea at this stage to set up configuration for our application. So as it grows in size, we can just manage anything that we need to configure very easily from one file or multiple files if you want to split them out. So let's just create a configuration file for the things that we perhaps need to configure. And then we'll install a package which will allow us to easily load in this configuration. And this is Hassan Khan config. And it's a really lightweight file loader. You can load in lots of different types of configuration and it works really nicely. So to start off with, we need to actually install this dependency. And if we head over to the GitHub page, you can see that it does give us instructions to do this. It's just composer require Hassan Khan config. So let's pop this into our terminal again and wait for this to download. And now that's done, we can actually attach it to our container. Now let's create this config file that I spoke about a minute ago. So I've created a folder called config. This is outside of the app directory, but it's still not within the public directory. So this file can't be browsed. So inside of here, I'm going to create a new file. And this is going to be app.php. Now you can separate out your configuration files if you want, but I'm going to be adding everything in here just for a little bit more simplicity. But you can load them uh, in when we look at actually loading in configuration. You can load multiple files. So that might be something you want to do if something gets a bit hard to manage. So from this file, we're going to return an array and we're going to set our base URL for our project. Now, in my case, this is just localhost. But when you go live, this will be the domain that you're using. So now we can set our DB configuration. So I'm creating a key called DB. And inside of here, I can create a configuration file for each drive that I want to use. In our case, we're just going to be using MySQL. So our host name is 127.0.0.1. It's just the server we're connecting to. The database name is going to be Destructi. But obviously, you can choose whatever database name that you that you have. We have a username to connect. And we also have a password as well. So now that we've got this, we can, when we do get around to attaching PDO to Slim's container, we can just pull these configuration items out. But at the moment, within our bootstrap file, we're not doing anything. We're not loading in this configuration. And to do this, all we need to do is create a new container instance, which is a new slim container. And then we just add items to our container. And this keeps everything nice and tidy. It means you don't have to instantiate anything else in any other of these files. They're just all done within our bootstrap file. So we're going to say container config. We create a closure just here. And we have C in there, which represents the current state of our container. And in here, we return a new Noodle House config object. Now, Noodle House is the old vendor namespace. That's why it's not Hassan Khan, just to, uh, in case you're a bit confused about that. And in here, we can load in our config. So we just say config app.php. If you did want to break these up into multiple files, you can pass this as an array. And then you can just have multiple files in here. We're just going to leave it uh, as this one for now. So finally, we need to pass this container instance into Slim so we can access it from our roots. And we're pretty much done here. So to test this out, what do we do? Well, from our roots, from any roots we create, we now have access to this item config on the container. And to access this, all we do, and we're just going to echo this out, we're going to access this config. And now we're going to use the get method, which is part of that config package. And we can use a dot notation to pick out, say, the host. We would just say db.mysql.host or just dot URL or just URL. So inside of our roots, then we can say db.mysql.host. And that should give us 127.0.0.1. So we now have a really nice way to pull configuration from our roots. And we can also do this within here 
in other container items. So for example, when we set up our database. So now that we've got that working, and as long as you've tested it here and you know that it is working, we can go on to install another fundamental part of the framework that we're going to be working with, and that is working with Slim Views. And we're going to be working with Twig. Now, if you've not worked with Twig before, don't worry. It's fairly straightforward to get started with. We're going to attach this to our container, and that means that we can separate all of our logic within our roots from our views.